Hello everyone, it's Erin. I just wanted to uh, share with you my latest thrift haul um, and everything you're about to see was free. I went there yesterday and um, the owner of the thrift store said, hey, are you the lady that came up to me and wanted to know if um, about old books? And I said, yeah, I'm the one that likes old books. She says, well, I have a whole box if you want to look at them. I said, sure, I'll look at them. So I went and I looked at them and I took all the ones I wanted and I said, well, what do I owe you? She said, oh no, you can have them for free. And I think she kind of felt sorry for me because they were so dusty and so smelly that my no my eyes were running and like she, my nose was itchy. And so it, I think she knew that they were kind of smelly. So <laughs> she let me have them for free. And pardon the mess, I'm in the middle of making a journal. And I didn't want to clean it up, so I left my mess. So anyway, this is the uh, first book I was going to show you. It's called Wallace Nutting Pictures. I've never heard of Wallace Nutting. Um, identification and Values. And the reason I kept it, or took it, was because there's really pretty, like, black and white images that I can cut out and use for embellishments and stuff. They're just nice little black and white pictures and there's a lot of them and they're just really simple like this one right here let's see it's just a boy and a girl Oops. they're in the under their arbor I think or is that a mom and a baby yeah that's a mom and a baby sorry Where is it? there it is mom and a baby so yeah lots of really old you know pictures in here. So I thought that was neat to use as embellishments and the book is full of them. Some of them are in color or colorized which is fun. So there's that and it smells so I'll have to do something about that. This also has, this is called the Complete Wedding March. I don't even really know what that means. But <laughs> Must have been a movie, and this is like the script or something. It's got great pictures in it. So, there's that. Yeah. <laughs> Must have been a silent movie or something because I don't know. It just looks like There's a bunch of black and white pictures. Here, let me get this stuff out of the way. Sorry. Let me just move this. Maybe that'll make it easier for you to see. Hi, Otis. My doggy Otis is in here with me. Keep him company. So yeah, there's that. A complete wedding march. I got Disney's The Rescuers. Um, Furniture of the Olden Time by Francis Clay Morse. cute is she? Hazel the Helpful Fairy. This is a board book, but I'm going to see if I can cut that out or use it as a cover somehow. She's really cute. Hazel. And this one is Shimmer the Sharing Fairy. So I'd like to make a little kid's journal with that. Well, not for a little kid, but you know. And this Old Reader's Digest Reading Skill Builder. some old illustrations in it. Oh, it's got pictures in it too. There's an otter. Um, let's see what year is this? I might not say. 1965. Christmas. 
Christmas carols. This is in great shape. Deck the halls. Cute pictures. Surprise for Dumpy <laughs> by Molly Brett. 1964. Really sweet pictures in here. Look at the hedgehog. How cute. I love hedgehogs. Probably because we don't have them around here. So I think they're especially wonderful because I don't see them. Ticonderoga, a picture story. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Ticonderoga, but it's a fort in New York State. It's now a museum. It's got some great pictures in it. It's got quite the history. Indians took it. Canada took it. I don't know for sure, but anyway, it's got quite the history. This is a little golden book. Flounder to the rescue. Use this to make a little mermaid journal. Cute. A book of campfire songs. Skip to my loo. Michael Row the Boat Ashore. Home on the Range. That'd be cute in a cowboy journal. Clementine, oh, Santa's Toy Shop, um, this is, it's called Dolphins and Whales in a Box, I had it open when I got it at the store, oh yeah, Dolphin Games with Dolphins and Whales, that's a poster, Hide and Seek Under the Sea, and whales. So that'll be good for my ocean journal. And then another little, little golden book. Dumbo's Book of Colors. Illustrations aren't that great, but it's alright. Rocking Horse Christmas. This has some really pretty, pretty, pretty pictures in it. It's a scholastic book. And I don't. Paintings by Ned Bittinger. I don't see. And here we go, it's in the back. 1997. Look at the pretty pictures. Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, I, was, I got quiet there. I was reading the story. I have been looking for one of these dictionaries for the longest time. For ones with the rectangles. Of course, this isn't the exact one, but it's, you know, it's getting there. It's got some great pictures in it. So, pretty happy with that. And it was free. So what can you, you know, can't complain. But that's pretty cool. My fun with words dictionary. And then I have a whole box of books. I'll try to go through it kind of quickly. Anne Sheridan and the Sign of the Sphinx. So that's what the cover looks like. There's the end papers. And it's old. Deanna Durbin. This was given to Natalie from her mother in 1943. This is Lusty Wind for Carolina by Inglis Fletcher. There's that one. And else? Carpenter's Geographical Reader of Africa. It's 
some, I don't think I'll ever use these pictures for anything. But I like the, I like the cover. <sighs> Old Love Stories Retold by Richard Le Gallien. That's what the spine looks like. Pretty cover. horse hoof on there. The Chinese room is what it's called. Chinese room. Connell. So there's that one. And I love this color. Stories from the French. This is really, I mean, these papers are brittle. Woo! They're crumbling right in my fingers. I do not see a copyright anywhere on this book. Merry Christmas 1909. From Flossie to Ida from Flossie. Oh my God, you can't make that stuff up. Flossie, how cute. 1909. Ambush of Young Days by Allison Utley. Paper in here isn't in that bad of shape. So that's kind of cute. Let's see. No date there. date there. Hmm. Huh. No date. Hmm. Okay. This is a great book. I love the cover of this. The Art Literature Readers, book four. Frances Elizabeth Chudder. Oh, jeez. It's got a cool stamp in the front. Be able to use some of those pictures. I don't know. Boy, it's got a whiff. There's a bear. Where'd that bear go? He's cute. <laughs> that one. And I picked this one. I don't know if you can see, but it's got like two Aladdin's lamps and a bookshelf with books and a pile of two books with a football on top. This is called Dick Hamilton's Steam Yacht by Garl, G-A-R-L. Let's see. No dates yet. It's weird how some of these don't have dates. I guess all books don't. The Dick Hamilton series. Cool. Child's Play. Man, I'd like to get my hands on some of those. Monthly magazine devoted to mothers and children. Cleveland, Ohio. Mm. No date in that one either. With Clive in India by G.A. Hentley. Look at that neat cover. Gossett and Dunlop Publishers. Printed in the United States. And no date again. Another one of the really cool cover. Pemberton Ginther Betsy Hall. You guys see that? Yeah. Not a great cover. 
I like her. She's cool. Pages are pretty, uh, pretty brittle. Let's see. Illustrations by the author. John C. Winston Company, publishers. 1923. There, we found one with a date. Woohoo! And this one is called The Broad Highway. By Jerry Farnell. It's cool. It's like a necklace. To Aunt Margaret, Merry Christmas from Will. The Broad Highway. Let's see. 1911. That's when this was published. Pages aren't too, too bad. Hmm. And this is a pretty neat diseases of cattle. I didn't know that that's what that was. I just looked at the cover and grabbed it. Ooh. Okay. There's some diseases. Alrighty. All right, and here comes the two best things I found. The treasury of Stephen Foster. Mm-hmm. Love it. It says, Dearest Penny, may this year of 1948 bring you many joys. Lovingly, Jean. I cannot read that last name. Penny Lemon Wand? Mm. But look at the pages in here. Aren't they great? They're big. Looks like it's about 14 by 12. It's got great illustrations in it. Let's see if I can find. There's a fun one. I could go in my spirits junk journal that I want to make. Doo -doo -doo. Little Jenny Dow. Old dog Trey. Aww. is in the cold ground. Won't be using that. And the best. Hammond's Atlas of the World, New Supreme Illustrated. And this is from 1939. It's got great pictures. Caribbean. South America, Australia, Mediterranean. One, of, I went to trivia last night, and one of the trivia questions that reminded me because of the the book. What country has the longest coastline, the most miles of coastline? You guys, right? Give me your guesses, and don't cheat. Don't look it up, and then I'll let you know if you're right or not. But we didn't get it right. We guessed wrong. But once we heard the answer, we went, "Oh yeah, that makes sense." Okay, so those are my books that I got free at the library, and um, hopefully you liked them. I'm glad you can't smell them, because <laughs> some of them stink. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, leave me a comment, and um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.